there, welcome back. You know, a few years ago, I was about to step on stage for a big presentation. I had prepared for weeks and I knew my material inside and out. But as soon as I saw that great big audience in that great big room. Keep going. Now I think I know what you're gonna say. My heart started racing and my hands got clammy and my mind went blank and I couldn't remember a single word. I just kind of froze. I know exactly what you mean, love. I mean, logically, I knew I wasn't in danger. These were nice people, they had welcomed me graciously, and I knew my stuff. But my brain thought I was in total danger, like being chased by a tiger danger. That is what's called the amygdala hijack. And whether it's stage fright, or road rage, or just reacting really emotionally in an argument, we've all been there. That is so true. Like, have you ever done something and then later said, What was I thinking? Well, you weren't thinking. Your brain was hijacked. Can you explain that? Your amygdala is the emotional control center of your brain. It's designed to protect you from danger by triggering your fight or flight response. But here's the catch. It's actually pretty terrible at telling the difference between a real threat and a perceived threat. And when this happens, the emotional brain takes over and it shuts down your ability to think clearly. This is why sometimes we forget what we're gonna say in a meeting or we snap at somebody and regret it later, or we freeze under pressure when we really need to perform. An amygdala hijack happens when your emotions completely override your logical brain. And if you don't recognize it in time, it can lead to reactions that you neither intend nor want. We've all been there, baby. Now sometimes the response is useful, like if you need to slam on your brakes to avoid an accident. But most of the time, it works against us. It makes us react impulsively instead of responding thoughtfully. And trust me when I tell you, I've been there a million times and that doesn't work. But once you know how to recognize an amygdala hijack, you can actually stop it before it takes over. Because that would be valuable information. So how can I find out? Now before we get to the solutions, do me a favor, take two seconds and hit that subscribe button because your support really means the world. Okay, so how do you prevent your emotional brain from running the show? Well, here are three science-based strategies to help stop an amygdala hijack in its tracks. Studies show that when you label your emotions, it reduces their intensity. So the next time you feel yourself getting worked up, pause and ask yourself, what is this that I'm feeling? Is this frustration? Is this anxiety? Just identifying it helps activate the rational part of your brain. The rational part of your brain is the prefrontal cortex, that part right behind your forehead. It's the thinking brain, and the best way to re-engage the thinking brain is to make it think and ask yourself a rational question, like, will this matter in a week, or why am I feeling so strongly in this moment? Think of a rational question that really works for you, tuck it in your back pocket, and the next time you're faced with an amygdala hijack, Pull it out and shift your brain out of reaction mode and into response mode. Finally, use the six second rule. The amygdala's initial emotional response lasts about six seconds before it starts to fade. So before reacting, take a deep breath, count to six, and give your rational brain a chance to catch up. I did not know that. That's amazing. <laughs> now, back to my stage fright moment. The very next time I stepped on stage, I was prepared. And right before I got up there, I took a long, deep breath. I labeled my emotions. This is just my brain protecting me. And I reminded myself, I got this. I know my stuff. And guess what? My brain calmed down, I focused, and I delivered a kick-ass keynote. No tiger attack necessary. Look, your brain is wired to react first and think later. Actually, your neural priorities are survival first, feel second, and think third. But now you have the tools to catch an amygdala hijack before it takes over. I feel better already. Now I wanna hear from you. Have you ever experienced an, an amygdala hijack? Maybe in an argument, at work, or in a high pressure moment? Oh my God, yeah. You are not gonna believe this. Drop your story in the comments below because we can all learn from each other. I love that idea. This is going to be good. Wait a second, wait a second. Count me in on this. <laughs>